In this video, I will show you how to create amazing paintings using stencils and a projector. Here you can see I make harlequin checks in my background in two different ways. I make one side with a stencil and the other side with a ruler. When painting harlequin checks with a stencil, you have to first make one layer and then the second layer. You cannot make a stencil that goes all the way from tip to tip. I make the other side with a ruler to show you the difference and to show you how easy it is to do even if you don't have a stencil. In order not to get confused when I have to paint my harlequin checks, I put small crosses in the ones I have to paint. I then paint my harlequin checks with black acrylic paint and then partially cover them again with white acrylic paint. This creates an amazing effect in the background which you can see here in the finished painting. I paint in many thin layers to create the photoshop effect. Here comes the fun part. Now I need colors in my background to create depth and life. I work my colors together on my canvas with the soft side of an ordinary kitchen sponge. I work my colors into each other so that they get some nice natural transitions. This is the fun part I think. And it is always very calming for me to paint this way as I take that part of the process quietly and take my time. Now I make some nice runners, after which I wipe off some of my paint again and then I build it up again with several layers of thin paint. Build it up, break it down, build it up and break it down again. Kill your darlings as we artists say. Here I throw on a handful of water on my background and wipe it off again with a cloth. This creates the opposite effect and helps to create more life in my background. Finally I play with more stencils and create a lot of cool effects. I make some color changes and paint the same stencil several times on top of each other in different colors. Here a little complementary color also comes into play so that there's a little more life in the colors and something to break it up a little bit. Now I just need to project my angel onto my beautiful background. I found it on the internet, downloaded it and put it on my USB key which I then put into my projector. I clean the background with white acrylic paint so that my angel can be seen more clearly. Then I start to draw the angel and paint the shadows on it with a very dry brush with very little black acrylic paint. The brush is actually almost dry for paint, so only a small shadow comes when I work with it. Finally, I want a message on my painting and I found this online by googling angel quote. Finally, I want a message on my painting and I found this one online just by googling angel quote. I think it's really cute and it reminds me that we're not perfect. We all have flaws and thank God for that. I hope you've been inspired to get started yourself. If you learned something from this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more inspiring videos like this. See you!